Hey everyone, it's Justin again. This video's purpose is to help you check your work on the first problem in the Practice Makes Progress PDF activity. If you haven't worked through this as much as possible on your own first, pause the video and do so now. Here's the problem you were just working through. Let's take this one step at a time. First, we need to substitute the given value of x into the expression everywhere that we see the variable x. When substituting 3 in for x, if there are any other operations that apply directly to the x, I'll use parentheses when I write the 3. For example, when substituting here, there is a 5 being multiplied by x. So when substituting in the 3, I'll put it in parentheses to make sure I don't forget about the multiplication. Then I'll carefully bring down this plus 2 and the first parentheses here. Then we could focus on this next term containing x. Since x has multiplication and an exponent attached to it, I'll use parentheses again when substituting 3 in. Then we can bring down these constants, making sure we copy the addition and subtraction signs. Then our final substitution for x is next. And since there aren't any other numbers tagging along with it this time, we don't need to put it in parentheses. Okay, so the first goal is complete. We have successfully substituted the given value in for the variable. Now the other goal is to evaluate this, and we'll need to use our order of operations for that. Let's keep gems in mind to help us through this. Starting with the grouping first leads us to the parentheses grouping all of this together. Within this grouping, we have an exponent, multiplication, and addition. Which order are we supposed to evaluate these in? We need to evaluate the exponent, then the multiplication, and then the addition. Starting with the exponent, we need to calculate 3 squared, which is 9. And multiplying that by 2 gives us 18. Then we can add the 1, giving us 19. Let's bring everything else down. We are done with the grouping, and I don't see any more exponents either. All that's left is some multiplication and some addition and subtraction. Which of these does order of operations tell us to focus on first? Yep, let's take care of the multiplication. And we're supposed to calculate this from left to right. So we should calculate 5 times 3 first, and then 2 times 19. Here we go. 5 times 3 is 15. Bring down the addition sign. 2 times 19 is 38 bring down the minus 4 and the plus 3. Now all that's left to take care of is subtraction and addition from left to right. 15 plus 38 is 53, and we bring the rest down. Then 53 minus 4 gives us 49, and we bring the rest down. Finally, 49 plus 3 gives us 52. And there's nothing left to bring down. We have our final answer. 